So here's uh, uh, the case of uh, Qx where we have uh, x squared plus 4, which appears two times in the denominator. So what we do is try to find constants a, b, c, and d such that a times x plus b divided by x squared plus 4, which is a quadratic term appearing in a denominator on the left-hand side, plus cx, again a linear term, cx plus d, divided by x squared plus 4 to the power 2, which is the highest power on the left-hand side. We try to write the expression on the left-hand side like this. So what we do is, again, we work back, so we try to bring it back to the denominator x squared plus 4 to the power 2. So we may do so, and a times x plus b requires a multiplication by x squared plus 4, and c x plus d does not require an additional factor, so we can just add c x plus d and divide these, this sum of terms by x squared plus 4 to the power 2. So now we take all third powers together and all quadratic terms and linear terms and constants together and we try to find those constants such that the polynomial of degree 3, the cubic fun function of the, uh, that we find here uh, it should be equal to 8 times x to the power 3 plus 16 times x. And if we solve for a, b, c, and d like this, then we find a equals 8, b equals 0. Yeah, since there's no quadratic term. 4a plus c should be equal to 16. Since we're in the left hand side, we have 16 times x, and there's no constant, so we should have 4b plus d equals 0. So we get an easy solution in this case. So a equals 0, b equals 0, c equals minus 16, and d equals 0. So that we can write the original rational function in a different way, like 8x divided by x squared plus 4. So taking a primitive of this rational function is just the same as taking a primitive of 8x divided by x squared plus 4. And the primitive minus 16x divided by x squared plus 4 squared. And it's not hard to see that the primitive of the first term is 4 times the natural logarithm of x squared plus 4 and the primitive a primitive of minus 16x divided by x squared plus 4 equals 8 divided by x squared plus 4. And of course, don't forget the integration constant.